welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i am gonna teach you here how to read plinth beam size in its steel reinforcement details guys you can see this plinth beam is designed for five story commercial building so now let me guide you for its details if you need house planning structural drawing 3d animation for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free guys you can see this is the first drawing note all plinth beams are 13.5 inches by 18 feet except lb1 lb1 means here we have the other section guys you can see this is lb1 which is for landing level beam this is only the uh, one that its size is without uh, uh, except 13.5 inches by 18 inches guys first of all guys you can see here this center line can show you the spacing between each column or beam as you can see a to b the spacing is 8 feet and 6 inches from b to c the spacing you can see clear and from c to d and from d to e these are its spacing now let me guide you for horizontally this is a to two uh, are from one to two beam guys you can see the spacing is 17 feet and 1.5 inches from two to three this is the spacing from two to four this is the spacing guys you can see the, it can show you the center line so look at here this is b p b1 plinth beam one this is also p b1 plinth beam one okay guys you can see these are the same beam on the other side guys you can see this is plain beam 2 so here for each beam we have each section look at here guys these are its section plain beam 2 this is plain beam 1 okay because we have long beams and short beams so therefore guys you can see its details now guys here suppose i am guiding you for this beam beam plain beam 2 which length is 17 feet 1.5 inches so what are the details for this beam beam plinth beam 2 so now let me show you this one this is plinth beam 2 this is plinth beam 2 okay guys you can see now here we have two section section 2a and section 2b where is section 2a and where is section 2b look here this is 2b section and this is 2a section this 2a section is designed for this one and this section 2b is designed for this level 2b okay guys you can see here so here guys as i told you before the depth of the beam is 18 inches and width is 13.5 inches so therefore guys you can see note all plinth beams are 13.5 inches and the depth is 18 inches so now let me guide you for its details we have here three numbers at the bottom Three numbers the die guys you can see which is five sutra which is 16 millimeter okay this is 16 millimeter and we have three numbers of bars next a top portion guys you can see but this is 2a section look here we have three plus two three plus two guys means this is one and this is the other one three at upper portion this is five sutra or 16 millimeter and guys you can see this is bar okay Next, guys, you can see the late, uh, the stirrups uh, details. You can see three sutra are 10 millimeter. This is 10 millimeter with the spacing of four inches center to center. So here, this section, guys, you can see this is 2A section. 2A section, guys, you can see this is 2A section. So the spacing is here four inches. That's why because we have two bars. One is this one and this is the other one. Guys, you can see clearly in 2A section at the distance of L by 4, or you can say this is at the distance of 10 feet at this side at the distance of 2 feet and 9 inches you can see the details so this section is designed for 2a so therefore two are side bars these two bars at the bottom we have three numbers of bars guys you can see we have three numbers of steel reinforcement so these are the details for this one so the spacings are here four inches now let me guide you for this section this one which is after 10 feet from this side from the right uh, from, from the left, left side and from this side from the right side okay so this is 2b section so now come to the 2b section and 2b B section guys you can see clearly in upper portion we don't have any numbers of steel reinforcement guys you can see here we have that's why because look here this steel reinforcement 
you can see at the distance of l by 4 or where we have negative bending moment we have sidebars look here we don't have that's why because here you can't see any sidebar this is the main point this is the exact point by which i am guiding you uh, directly okay so here we have three numbers at the bottom so we have three numbers two are sidebars guys here but here at this section we have at the bottom because this is tension zone look here this is tension zone and this is compression zone in compression zone we have two numbers of steel rods but here in compression bars uh, in compression zone we have three numbers because here we have negative bending moment also we have two side bars to resist negative bending moment we are providing extra steel rods at the distance of or near its support support s column this one okay so therefore guys we have three plus two three plus two guys you can see this steel reinforcement look here this one but here at this place we don't have this one so we have five bars at the bottom only provided at the distance of l by 4 to this position and we have two bars at the top guys you can see here we don't have like this and you can see the spacing is here the spacing is maximum here look at here guys this is also maximum but here this is minimum so therefore the stirrup spacing is here 8 inches center to center and the dia is 10 millimeter which is same here but this is the spacing which is closely here and this is the spacing which is increased at the distance of after l by 4 where we don't have negative bending moment okay where we have positive bending moment let me make a uh, the, the graph for this so what is positive bending moment what is negative bending moment so for that now guys you can see when the load comes on the top of the beam load comes we applied the load here okay so when the load comes here so it makes a graph same like this guys look here like this okay so therefore this is positive bending moment and there is negative bending moment here we have negative bending moment here we have negative bending moment here we have positive bending moment to resist positive bending moment we have two extra side bars at the bottom to resist negative bending moment we provided two numbers at this place to resist negative bending moment so both sections are safe so this is called steel structure design which can save your building so if you are going more than two story so you should hire the structural engineer to give you the design so this is plinth beam now this is plinth beam one so where is its uh, sec uh, let me show you so this is plinth beam one that's why because spacing is minimum are uh, less than this one this is say, 17 feet 1.5 inch this is 10 feet 1.5 inches so its spacing is normal and they increased here therefore we have its detail uh, the, the different detail from this one so this is beam a uh, plinth beam one and this is plinth beam two which i have discussed now let me discuss plinth beam one okay so plinth beam one details guys you can see this is plinth beam one so here the size is same 13.5 inches by 18 feet uh, 18 inches three numbers at the bottom three at the top we don't have extra steel rods we don't have any extra steel rods in upper portion or at the bottom portion that's why because the spacing is normal which is about 10 feet and 1.5 inches here it is increased so the design is changed here so guys these are details so the hook should be provided on 135 degree which i'm discussing practical and practical video that it should be provided on 135 degree the hook length should not be less than three inches and the hooks should be placed alternately not at the same direction so these are some important details uh, according to structural design and also uh, the concrete cover which should not be less than 1.5 inches or you can say 40 millimeter so this is the some details about plant beam which i have discussed different of you thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye